I quit. That's it. I'm done. I'm done with Bitcoin. I'm done with cryptocurrency. You know what? Warren Buffett was right. He said it last year that cryptocurrency will almost certainly end badly. And I think he's right because honestly, right now, as I'm making this video, Bitcoin is at 7,000. It's probably going to fall to 3,000. It's so hard for me, or I guess most people that bought in around like 13, 14,000 to even explain this to anybody that Bitcoin lost over 10,000 in value. I don't even know where to begin to explain it. So I just, you know what, that's why I'm just done. No more, I'm done. For all of you guys that's hodling, have fun, but I'm out. Gone. April Fools. <laughs> I hope I got you guys on that joke. Obviously, I am not quitting cryptocurrency. But I do want to give you guys some explanation, some background information on some stuff that I was looking at. So first of all, it is true Warren Buffett did say that Bitcoin is almost certainly to end badly. I don't really care what he said because he might be the Oracle of Omaha in terms of the stock market, but he doesn't know much about cryptocurrency. He said that in the past and I'll take him by his word for it. But more importantly is the fact that yes, as of this recording, Bitcoin is around 7,000 and change. But what's really important to me is that you see all this green here? Well, this is, if you look at it, this is the Maya multiple. This is the indicator that I created to show when the Maya multiple is below one. And when it's below one, is a green. I have talked about this in the previous video. And if you guys want a link to this indicator to use it on your trading view, I have a link to it down below. But point being, this is really a good time to buy just because the main multiple is under one for quite a bit of time now. I mean, for 2018 overall, you don't really see, there was only three days. There were only three days that was under one. And that was obviously the three worst days that we had when it was at two at six thousand and change. But now it's we had it for over fifteen days now, pretty much close to fifteen days. And I just want to point out three important dates that you should know. Okay, that is November 29, twenty thirteen, February seventh, twenty fourteen, and January fourth, twenty fifteen. So why are those three dates important? It's because November twenty ninth was the last time Bitcoin hit an all time high. The best way to show you guys this, and not to use Bitstamp to show you guys this, because Bitstamp, they go back the farthest on TradingView anyway. So if you use something like Coinbase or you use Bitfinex, it only goes back to like 2014. So even CoinMarketCap only goes back to 2014. Bitstamp actually goes back to like 2012. So if you zoom out here though, first of all, you see that for most of the time, Bitcoin is usually in the yellow section. And yellow is meaning that the main multiple is between 1 to 2.4. So that means it's an okay time to buy, and that's based on the Maya Multiple site. It's a Maya Multiple site by the Investor Podcast, so that's pretty much their assumption is that don't buy anything above 2.4 Maya Multiple. And that's pretty much what I did with my indicator. So whenever it's red, it means that it's above 2.4 Maya Multiple. But for the most part, Bitcoin usually is in the yellow, so it's around like 1.1 to 2.4 Maya Multiple. You don't really see it in green too often. But if you zoom out even more, you can see that Bitcoin, for the most of 2015 and 2014, it was in green. So it was really cheap, but it lasts a long time in terms of the prices being so low. So I just want to show you on November 29th, 2013, the last time Bitcoin was all-time high. November 29th was right over here. Bitcoin was at 1141. That was the all-time high, right? You can see it right now very simply because... If you look at the chart here, when it's at the red, meaning that the main multiple was extremely high and that it was at its all-time high and it hasn't reached red, except for maybe one day, I think, somewhere around 2017. June, actually, that was really high. We didn't hit red again until we hit the all-time high in 2017 of 19,000 and change. Anyway, you see that on November 29, 2013, that's when Bitcoin hit all-time high. And then 2014, on February 7, 2014, when Mongox was hacked. So... If you guys want to read up on the history of Mt. Gox and the whole hack, I have, an article, I have a link to this article here. It's pretty interesting and it's pretty short, so you can definitely read through that. But the most important point is this. After the hack, it took almost a year before Bitcoin hit new lows after all-time high. So what does a new low after all-time high mean? 
So let's go back here. So you see that this is 2014. So around here somewhere, this is when it was at its all-time high. It kept on falling for the whole entire year. And all the way through, because this is actually where it got, this is when it was hacked. So Bitcoin was hacked right here. You see that this really red candle right here, that one day when it fell a lot. So that's when it got hacked. And after that, it took a long time. Bitcoin was just keep on going down and going down and going down. But it took like, this is a matter of, years so this is between 2014 and 2015 and until january 14 of 2015 that's when it found an all-time low so remember i said the all-time high was 1141 for bitcoin on 2013 the all-time low was 152 dollars so it went from 1141 to 152 dollars that's crazy man Ugh. i mean just thinking about it gives me chills so here are the three important numbers you need to know 87 percent 0.39 and 17x 17x is like 17 times so why are these three numbers important well 87 percent was how much bitcoin dropped in percentage after last all-time high so we're talking about like again from 1141 to 150 dollars and 40 cents so that is an 87 percent drop and note, an 87% drop from 2017's all-time high for Bitcoin would equal to the Bitcoin price of $2,519. The second number you need to know is 0 0.39, the lowest mayor multiple. So right now, as I mentioned, we're around like 0.8 mayor multiple, which is not that bad. But again, on that day, the mayor multiple is 0 0.39, as you can see on the chart right here. That is really, really low. We only did it for one day. It's like it's well, you won't see that very often, obviously. So, but that was the lowest that main multiple has been. And the last number is 17 times, and that's how many times is Bitcoin worth from eight from the all-time high in 2013, the last time we reached all-time high like that, to the all-time high of 2017. What does that mean? So it means that the all-time high of 2013 was uh, 1,141 dollars, and if you times that by 17, then you get the all-time high of 2017 which is over $19,000 like almost $20,000 so the bottom line is this we probably won't see $2,500 for the price of Bitcoin in 2018 it just won't fall that low but if you keep that in mind as a theoretical possibility $8,000 seems really overvalued so it certainly means we'll have more tough time ahead in 2018 though it sure is depressing if you focus on today or even this year but expand out your view to multiple years, then things look much better. This is a really good time to buy it, as I mentioned previously. I will be putting everything I have if the main multiple gets back to 0 0.39, but it most likely won't happen. So that's why I'm back dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin until the main multiple goes back above one. So if you guys don't know, I previously was dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin $10 a day. So it wasn't much, obviously. It adds up for the whole entire month of February. I did it for the whole entire month of February. And then I pretty much stopped because I, I figured the number was getting higher and then it actually dropped again. So I'm restarting my dollar cost averaging because the price is so cheap. And there's certainly a chance that Bitcoin can fall 87%. We haven't got there yet. If it will keep on falling, it can get down to $3,000. Who knows? But it just means that I'm be, I will be able to accumulate more Bitcoin because that is the main idea. Just remember, even though the main multiple usually hangs around 1 to 2.4x 60% of the time, and you can actually see this if you go to mainmultiple.com and you scroll down in here, they have the frequency chart here, frequency distribution. So from 1, so it's around 29%, so let's say and then to 2.4, it's around 91%, so around 60% of the time. Bitcoin is at that at that range of mere multiple. It doesn't mean Bitcoin prices can only 3x though, because we talk about like oh 1x to 3 or 2.4x mere multiple. That's not the price of Bitcoin. That's not how many times the Bitcoin can go up in value. As I mentioned, it's 17x last time's all-time high. If it does it again, but probably end up 2019 earliest. That's what I see right now. 2018 is gonna be a wash. We are looking at over three hundred thousand dollars per Bitcoin. $300,000. Just want to reiterate that. I know it's still not quite a million dollars that someone needs to avoid eating his spotted dick. <laughs> but $300,000 is still a lot. And I know the other thing is if you go again back to mayamultiple.com, 
they have this chart based on the network effect and they show you that based on the network effect the Metcalf law Bitcoin at 2020 should only be around like 74,000 and maybe it will hit 100,000 sometime between 2020 and 2021 that is true but as you see on this chart here the way Bitcoin moves it doesn't move exactly like that curve it actually rockets up and then falls down below the curve and rockets back up again and falls down below the curve and rockets back up again and falls down below the curve most likely what I can see happening is Bitcoin will hit 300,000 and then fall back down below 100,000 probably like 50,000 who knows I mean it could fall down a lot and then it will go back up again so it won't follow this curve exactly but it will follow the trend of this curve and that's the general idea so anyway guys that's my video for today let me know what you guys think about the overall future of Bitcoin and if you guys were really upset about the price of Bitcoin the last couple of months like I have been just step back as I mentioned in this video just take a longer view it'll be fine things will be fine that's my video for today guys let me know what you guys think leave a comment down below smash the like button smash the subscribe button smash the bell icon if it isn't crypto it isn't worth mining it isn't worth speculating i'll see you guys tomorrow peace out